Hey everyone, this is Sanjeev from Tackle. Today we are going to take a look at how we can create arrowheads in Affinity Photo. Like many other photo editing software, Affinity Photo doesn't come inbuilt arrowheads or arrow shapes. So you need to design your own arrow which you want to use in your photos. Though the process is very simple. To create the arrows in Affinity Photo, you just need to use the pen tool. Once you select the pen tool, you will see a lot of options on the top of Affinity Photo. These options will allow us to create an arrow. The first thing which you need to do is click on this uh, line. Once you select this line, you have a lot of options, the style of the line. So for arrow, I would select a solid line. You can change the width. Once you have your desired width, you need to know where you want to put the arrow head, whether you want to put it at the start or end. So if you want to put it at the end, you will come to the end section and select the shape of the arrow which you want to put. Like I want a triangle wide. And these two options allows you to choose whether you want the arrow to be placed within the line or you want it to be placed outside of the line. Um, it's a very minute detail. Just that when you draw an arrow, um, the point till you draw the arrow, whether the um, arrowhead needs to be included in that or it has to be outside. That's the only portion which you are selecting. Doesn't matter much. Once you select uh, one or the other, one or two arrows you draw and then you will realize that how to handle this um, space and uh, you will be okay with it. So once you have done that, you can see this has already started showing you an arrow line. Now select the mode that you want to draw a straight line and you can change the colors of your arrowhead. Like I want to put the arrowhead in this color and I don't want any uh, filling in it because I already have the stroke. So like this and that's it. Now if I come here and click any two points, I can see an arrow. Like suppose I want to draw another arrow here. We are good enough. So you can see how easily we can create arrows in Affinity Photo. The only thing is now you have made the selection and Affinity Photo will remember this selection in this particular session. Once you close the Affinity Photo and open it again, it will forget the selection and it will again give you a blank plane line, which means you have to do these changes again. To save your effort each and every time doing all these things, what you can do is you can go to view studio and open the assets. Assets are nothing uh, but a collection of images and tools which you want to save for regular use. What we are going to do now is we are going to save this arrow as an asset because that's what we want to keep using again and again. So at the start there is nothing. So you come here, you create a new category of assets. Okay, if you want to change the name, you can just rename it. So I will just call it custom shapes. Once done, mark OK and you have a category as custom shapes. Now what you can do is select any of your arrow. Anyhow, I was my arrow was selected, but uh, just select any of the arrow which you have created. And come here, custom shapes, click on add from selection. Once you click that, you have a custom shape already saved here. Now, if you need to enter an arrow in any of your photo, you don't need to go anywhere. You will just come here and drag this here and you have an arrow. And you can see that you already can use these bars to change the shape of it. You can even rotate it like anything because the pointers are already there. So you have a generally designed arrow which you should fit almost all your use cases. And you don't need to keep doing it again and again. Once saved, you can always come back to the asset and uh, start using it right away. Hope this video will help you in how to design an arrow as well as save it for consistent use across your sessions. If you like the video, hit the like button below or subscribe to Tackle for more tips around Affinity Photos.